Remember when we were discussing the histogram concept we discussed that these two images will have the same histogram why because the second image is just a jumbled up version of the first one and since the number of pixels with different intensity values is uh, the same in both the images the histogram of these two images will look the same and the same thing happens instead of using the pixel intensity values if you are extracting the features either hog or sift and you are doing the bag of words representation that is you are plotting the histogram of different features for both these images the histogram will look the same so how do you differentiate between these two images for that you can use a technique called spatial pyramid matching what you do is you do the processing in three different steps level 0 1 and 2 in the level 0 you just uh, do the bag of words representation that is you take all the features and plot the histogram this is uh, nothing but level 0 is nothing but your bag of visual words representation in level 1 what you do is you divide the image into 2 by 2 grid and you calculate the histograms separately for each of these blocks so the same thing is uh, shown here you still have the same features that is the circle diamond and the plus sign but you now calculate or take the histogram separately for each of these quarters quarters 1 2 3 and 4 and the respective histograms are shown here 1 2 3 and 4 in the next level you again divide the image into 4 by 4 grid and calculate the histograms separately for each of these features once you have this representation now your total histograms that is the combined histogram will be just a concatenated version of all these three levels that is in the level 1 you will have just uh, three uh, three values one value for circle one value for the diamond and one value for the plus symbol so maybe here the values are 11 10 and 12 so you'll just write down that here 11 10 and 12 So what about uh, level two? In the level two, you will have a feature vector of uh, size twelve. So one, two, three, four. The first four indexes, array indexes, will be for this feature vector, circle. Here in the first quadrant, how many circles do you have? One, two, three, four, and five. So the same thing is shown here. In the second quadrant, you have three circles. In the third quadrant, you have two, and in the fourth quadrant, you will just have one. Okay. So this will be the values here. Five. Three, two, one, and similarly, you fill up the values for diamond in the next four areas, and then you fill up the values for the plus symbol. So in total, your vector size will be twelve. In the first example, you had a vector of size three, so this was eleven, ten, and twelve, and in the second one, you have a vector of size twelve, and for the third example, how big is your vector? You have in total sixteen quadrants. and the three features so your vector size will be 48 okay so your combined histogram now using the spatial pyramid matching will be of size 44 plus uh, 12 plus 3 which will come to 63 okay so your uh, combined histogram will be uh, a featured vector of length 63 only difference is that here instead of directly taking these values what you do is you divide these values by 1 by 4 and uh, here in the level 1 also you divide the values by 1 by 4 that is 5 by 4 3 by 4 2 by 4 1 by 4 etc and in the level 2 you divide whatever values you get by half so this will be the histogram representation using spatial pyramid matching but what is the actual advantage here let's say i divide uh, this image into 4 by 4 grid and even this i'll be dividing into 4 by 4 now since we are in the level 2 for example we are calculating the histogram separately for each of these blocks now you can see that for this block and this block the histogram is way different okay and uh, similarly if you take any other block let's say i take this block here we can compare this with this block okay maybe here the histogram will be same here it will be different and uh, so in this way you can go on calculating the histogram values for different blocks and uh, you will find that let's say for uh, this block and uh, this one if you compare here again the histogram values are different they are not same but in some blocks they will match in some blocks they will not but uh, overall when you take the combined feature vector 
the feature vector for these two images will be very different. And uh, that is how using the spatial pyramid matching you will be able to differentiate between these two vectors. The same thing is uh, represented here for uh, the complete image when you take the histogram you will get a result of size 3, a array of size 3. And when you divide it into a 2 by 2 grid since there are 3 features you will get 3 into 4 that is a feature vector of length 12. And when you divide the image into 4 by 4 grid you will get a feature vector of size 3 features into 16 that is 48. In, in total your feature vector will length will be of 63. How do you get this? You have 3 features and in total you have 16 plus 4 plus 1 that is 16 plus 4 plus 1 is 21. So in total your feature vector will length will be 63. And the best part of spatial pyramid matching is that it doesn't depend on the size of your image or feature map. So your total histogram representation length will be of size 63 for a 8 by 8 image or a 8 by 8 feature map. But what if your image is of size 12 by 12? It doesn't matter, it will still be 63. Because as long as the number of features remain constant, 3, you are, you are taking the histogram for the entire image once and you will get the feature vector of length 3. Then when you divide it into 2 by 2, you will get again a feature vector of length 12. When you divide it into 4 by 4, you will get a feature vector of length 48. So it doesn't matter how big or how small your image is because you are just dividing and taking the histogram of different quarters, different blocks, the length of the resultant feature vector will always be the same. Also, the aspect ratio of the image doesn't matter. Instead of 12 by 12, if I have a 12 by 8 image, you will still get back a feature vector of length 63 and even if it is a 8 by 12 image, the resultant feature vector will be of length 63. So that's the beauty of this technique. Irrespective of the size of the image or its aspect ratio, your resultant length will be the same. In the next video, let's see if we can use this technique along with CNNs and if so, what are the advantages.